Good morning. It is 6.40 a.m. on Monday, July 6th, 2020. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So uh, I am going back into the office today. Uh, this week, there are a number of things that I have to do that have to be done on site rather than remotely. And so uh, I'm going to be doing that this week. Uh, the plan is that I'm still going to be coming home for lunch uh, to take a little puppy dog outside. Uh, I woke up and it just was really stuffy and kind of sweaty and humid in my apartment this morning. So I feel like I'm just like covered with this sheen. Ugh. Um, but, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, I randomly uh, had it... Uh, you know, one of the things that sometimes happens with a puppy is that they get a hold of like a little bit of paper or cardboard and then they uh, settle down with it and just determinedly begin to tear it into tiny pieces and then leave it all over the floor. And that happens with enough frequency that I'm going to go ahead and make an admission that I suspect is true of a lot of puppy owners. It happens enough that you don't always clean every piece up right away. <laughs> but what that also can mean is that uh, it only takes one or two that you haven't cleaned up yet for your place to look kind of like a disaster. I mean, you know, my counter is cluttered, but there's a difference between cluttered counter and garbage all over the floor. Um, but, you know... Uh, so, but for whatever, you know, I guess maybe as just part of getting ready to go back into the office, that mindset, I was, uh, decided to, you know, go ahead and get all of that cleaned up and then sweep up the various shed dog hair, which needs to happen every couple of days, pretty much at minimum. And so I was doing all of that, but, uh, Rocket... I don't know if it was just that he was in need of some cuddles or if he was concerned by this mysterious activity of me cleaning. What's that? Um, just was being very cuddly and just kept wanting to sort of crawl into my lap while I was trying to pick up all these little bits of paper and cardboard. Maybe it was he was trying to get me to stop because that's where he wanted those things to be. But I have pacified him for now with a little rawhide twist. And uh, now I just, uh, you know, I'm kind of getting stuff moved along uh, so that I can uh, head into the office. So I have, uh, okay, yeah. So uh, last night Mike and I recorded another Watching 100 Movies uh, where we have now gotten through 90 of the AFI's top 100 movies. And so we decided that before we cracked the top 10, we would sort of revisit the, the rankings that we had made of the 90 movies we watched so far. And so that episode, uh, the video version should be on YouTube right now as you're watching this. Um, we'll be working on the audio podcast version uh, soon. Uh, but it was interesting kind of revisiting that and then just talking about how sometimes, uh, you know, when you have just watched a movie, you, you can have a little bit of an afterglow where you're just like, yeah, that, that movie is really good. But then when time goes by, you start feeling like, well, okay, but as that glow fades, what I remember is the stuff I don't like as much. And so that starts to become a question of, okay, well, do you rank that movie high because of the way you felt right afterwards? Or do you rank the movie lower because of that feeling going away after a while? <laughs> I think my, my take is lower because um, there are movies where that doesn't happen, where I loved it when I watched it, and then I think back on it and still love it. Yeah. So that's kind of uh, where that's at. I'm going to need to, you know, get showered and clothes changed and actually prepare to be moderately presentable to other people. What? I don't know if you hear that on the microphone. 
he, he's, he's taken to pulling plastic containers out of the recycle. He finished that rawhide thing really fast. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if you guys hear that sound at all. Um, all right. Uh, in any event, I hope all of you have a good Monday, and I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.